Josh here from Top 4 Fitness. It's time to do it with you. In, in this video, I want to show you the post-workout protein shake that I'm using right now. Um, I want to show you basically everything that I use when I'm at home and I can blend it up. But if you're taking a shake with you to work or you want to take it with you to the gym and you won't have access to a blender and you don't want to take wet ingredients with you, uh, you can do sort of a modified version of this uh, to take with you. This is what I do when I'm training at a gym outside of town. Uh, I don't have access to a blender. Um, use a scoop of uh, protein powder. I'm using right now uh, vegan protein powder. This is one of the better tasting vegan proteins I've used just because I'm in a cut and I do find that uh, dairy does tend to make me feel a little bloated, but I much prefer the taste of whey protein isolate. So feel free to substitute whey protein instead of the vegan protein. And I'm using a greens just to make sure I'm getting all my micronutrients in. Greens Freak is pretty good tasting for a greens product and it mixes well with protein shakes. So I put a scoop of that, a heaping scoop of uh, the whey protein product or the vegan protein. And then I like to put a little bit of extra fiber. Beta fiber, which is just basically inulin, mixes really well. So I wouldn't use Metamucil, that comes out pretty thick. Uh, this has next to no flavor or even just a little bit of a sweet flavor to it. Uh, so you can throw that in. I like to put a little bit of cinnamon in. It has some health benefits, tastes good. That's totally up to you and a little bit of creatine. If you put your creatine in before your workout with your pre-workout, you don't need it post-workout, but I like to add a little bit of creatine in my post-workout shake. When you have carbohydrates, everything gets absorbed a little bit better. Your insulin is spiked a little bit more, so I like to throw that in with my post-workout. Now, I've been using oats, instant oats, in my post-workout shakes. If you have a blender, it mixes up pretty well, but even without, I still throw it in just dry into my shake, uh, into my dry shake as well for a post-workout shake. And it still makes up a little chunkier than if you don't have a blender, but I think it still tastes great uh, and mixes well. And then the banana, I would just eat that for my carbohydrates along with the shake. So if you have access to a blender, then I would recommend adding the following ingredients. Greek yogurt, almond milk or regular milk, One cup of frozen berries. So let's throw in the frozen berries. Half cup of the Greek yogurt. One cup of your milk, or almond milk, or soy milk, or rice milk, whatever you choose to use. And then your dry ingredients, which we looked at before greens, fiber, protein powder, and your banana. Usually for post-workout, I recommend a ratio of about two to one carbs to protein. I'm going a little bit lower on carbohydrates because I'm in a cut right now. So you can go ahead and add a, another banana, a second banana, or another bag of your instant oats, or a little bit extra frozen berries if you want. That's everything, let's blend this up. All right, let's do this. I'm going to add a little bit of extra water. Perfect. Mm. Mm. That gets you everything you need after your workout. Tastes awesome. Very easy to make. Common ingredients. Try yourself. Let me know what you think. Post a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe and until next time, stay strong.